What is up, guys? Hello, hello. Uh, let me see. Let me fix this just a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Um, today's video is a field strip and cleaning of a Glock pistol. Um, the pistol that I'll be showing uh, or demonstrating on is going to be the um, Gen 3 uh, Glock 22C. And it's the police issue Glock 22C. And they call it the... And the 22C actually has these uh, ports on the slide here. That's why they call it the Glock 22C. Um, this is... Uh, home defense type pistol, but uh, the disassembly and cleaning should uh, be applicable to just about any Glock pistol. It should be relevant for um, across the board, all your, all your Glock pistols. If I'm mistaken about that, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, it'll be close. If there's if there's a variation, but like I said, this is a Gen 3 Glock 22C, and it should be relatively similar to just about any any of your Glock pistols. So I'll show you how to break this down and clean and lubricate, and uh, let's get started. First, I'm gonna take off this tack light that I've got right here. Um, I really like this thing, it's, it's pretty awesome, but actually you don't have to take this off, but with it off, you'll be able to see uh, how this is pretty much just like most of your standard Glock pistols. Okay, I'm gonna change the camera angle. Okay guys, that angle should work a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. And of course, we uh, remove the magazine, nothing in there. Check the pistol. see the chamber is empty so it's been checked now then to um, to take down the pistol you make sure it's uh, decocked you want to uh, pull back just a little bit on this slide so it can be a little bit tricky, but you, uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. You pull back just a hair. Uh, just a fraction. And you've got these takedown levers right here on either side. And I'll show you again. All you want to do is uh, make sure the pistol is decocked. Hopefully you can see that. Um, pull it back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Pull those down and let it slide forward. piece of cake. Then you want to take out your recoil spring and your barrel. And that is pretty much field stripped.
that's as deep as we're gonna go in this video as far as stripping I mean you can disassemble the thing completely and I have before um, but not on this one I, I cleaned it recently this is just for um, you went out to the range and you you came back you want to give it a quick cleaning before you put it put it away or you know just clean it up after going to the range or whatever or before you even leave the range but that's how you break it down and get it ready to be cleaned now when cleaning the pistol um, there's certain solvents you want to use for special purposes but um, I like to cover all my bases with uh, Ballastol. I, I really enjoy using this stuff. It is a uh, cleaner and a lubricant. It uh, lubricates, penetrates, protects, and preserves. Um, so it covers all your bases and that's what I like to use personally. Um, everybody's got their own brand or, or preference. But that's mine. Okay, so I guess we'll get started by spraying the barrel down. I'm almost out. I use this stuff too much. Um, what you want to do is, uh, this is actually really clean already. I haven't fired it in a while. But you want to spray your your cleaner into your barrel. Just spray it right in. You might want to put a rag or a old cut up t-shirt underneath it because it will make a little bit of a mess. Um, and just let that soak for a little bit. Let those chemicals do their job. Um, yep. I guess uh, you can spray your recoil spring. You don't have to, but I like to do it. It leaves it lubricated, um, which is always a good thing any points of the gun that will experience friction. Oh, actually, this is an aftermarket spring that I got, so most Gen 3 Glocks have a like a uh, plastic type of recoil spring, but I kind of upgraded mine with a, with a steel uh, spring, but you know, either way, oil never hurt anything. Um, and while those have been sprayed, you can go to your, your slide. Now, keep oil away from your firing pin. That was weird. That thing was left engaged. Hmm. I haven't seen that before. You want to keep oil away from your firing pin, but just spray it with the slide facing downward and you should be all right to keep that spray out of there. Maybe going a little bit overboard here, but that's all right. Um, moving on. I wouldn't spray anything in the in the frame here. I would just take a brush like so. And if you have any any fouling or any any grime or anything, I'd scrape it down. And then maybe blow it out with a 
condensed air or compressed air. Or whatever. Like I said, this is actually really clean, so it's hard for me to tell what I would need to hit, but once you've once you've scrubbed that down, just go through there with your with your rag or your cut up t-shirt. And anything you see, just wipe it out real good. And if you can't get to a space, take your uh, your brush and drape your cloth over it and use that to get in into those spaces. Maybe I should have taken this thing out and shot it a little bit before I did a cleaning video because it is super clean and I can't even see where I should show you to clean the thing. Like I said, it's for uh, like a home defense pistol. My every my everyday carry is a Smith & Wesson Shield 9mm and it stays it stays pretty clean too but I'm out there firing it a good deal that's my normal carry pistol or my normal everyday carry pistol just a little bit smaller but it sure hides well I'm a big fan of that. I really like that shield a lot. So, once you've got that scraped out and wiped down, you should be good. You don't want too much, too many chemicals in there like it's not really going to help very much to have a bunch of chemicals in there. You just want to brush it out and then wipe it out. But that's, like I said, pretty dang clean. Um, and there's a couple of points on the frame where it's going to require oil. And I'll show you those in just a second. On the slide where we sprayed it down, just uh, take your rag, wipe it down wherever you see that it needs to be wiped. Next time I will get one of these things dirty before I try to do a cleaning video. You don't have to get all the oil out or all the solvent out, but uh, you don't want to leave it soaking wet either. Just make sure you get in those grooves right here. Or those uh, And right here where the firing pin is, I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here where the firing pin is, just go over that with the, with the rag. Like I said, you don't want oil getting inside there because it will grime up. And maybe where your, um, uh, extractor is, just take your brush and go inside there with your brush just to make sure it's it's clean. You don't want uh, anything keeping that extractor from pulling your bullet out or your uh, empty casing out. That would be bad. But yeah, you want that clean too. Okay, now that the barrel's been sitting there for a minute, I like to use, uh, some people use, you know, like a rod and, and patches and stuff, but this right here is my, one of my favorite things about uh, my gun cleaning kit. I keep a, a boar snake for my, uh, my 40 caliber, my 40 caliber Glock. 
So you just run that through there, pull it through, and effectively, I mean, you can't get any cleaner than this thing gets those barrels. It gets them sparkling clean. Just pull it through three or four times. If you don't have it, I definitely recommend you get it because it makes cleaning these things a breeze, like effortless. There is none of that patch after patch after patch, pushing it through until it comes out clean, which, you know, I guess it's not that bad, but it's just so much more simple with a boar snake. Wipe it down. I don't know if you can see inside there, but it's got a mirror finish. Um, wipe the recoil spring down from where I soaked it in oil and it should stay on that steel center that the spring is. held in place by. All right, and honestly, that is pretty much it. That is as simple as it gets. And honestly, that's really all you need to do. And next time it would probably benefit everyone if I got the thing a little dirty first. Um, before I put this back together, I'm gonna put oil on a few points. I'm going to put just a little coating on the barrel because it gets a lot of friction when and this oil is Hops Elite gun oil. I'm going to just smear that around with my finger. All he needs a very little bit. In fact, I'm just going to go all over the thing because it does get it catches a lot of friction moving around in there. Okay. Um, and there's some points on the, on the frame. You want to put oil on your, On these metal pieces where the slide will contact or make contact and you don't need much I'm actually probably overdoing it right now but I will wipe off the excess and honestly this sits unused in the safe for the most part so if I overdo it that's not going to be a huge problem But any excess, you can just kind of wipe away. But you want oil right there because that's also another point of friction. <clears throat> and there's another little spot right here where the... Where the trigger... Yeah, right here, I think. A little bit right there, I, I do believe. I might be, I might not be right about that. All right, I think that's it. Now, to put her back together, you simply take the um, barrel. Oops. Fit it in like so. Uh, put your recoil spring back in like so. You find your spot right here where your slide lines up. Try to pull that back on there with all the 
all over this thing, which I will wipe down. Now then, I'm gonna give it a test fire. I'm gonna give it a test fire just to make sure. Cause that, uh, Firing pin looks like it was sticking out for some reason. Which I thought was kind of weird. I'll have to look into that. I think it might be okay, but possibly it's sticking. I'll have to look at that. Right there it looks good. Looks like it's getting stuck right there. Hmm. I might need to take that apart and look at it. Uh, leave some comments. If um, if that's normal, let me know. Then wipe her down. This should be good. Okay. I had to stop the video and go test that a little bit because I was worried that the firing pin wasn't drawing back, but it tested just fine. I cycled some ammunition through there and uh, it looked all right. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. The uh, and this should go for just about all Glock pistols. Um, cleaning and lubrication, uh, disassembly, takedown, and uh, cleaning and lubrication should go just about the same as that. And in the future, I'm gonna do a detailed uh, disassembly video where I take apart the slide uh, yeah I'm gonna do a video where I take apart all the pieces in the slide because that's what I was worried about maybe something in there was um, hindering the firing pin and keeping it from 
pulling back. You can actually kind of see it right there. And, you know, I was just worried about it. But in the future, like I said, I'll do a video where we take all those pieces out, clean them, make sure they're good and dry, and then put it back together. And uh, that should resolve any type of issue that I may be imagining. But uh, once again, to put this back together, you want to put your barrel in like so. Uh, your guide spring in like this. Uh, slide that baby home on your frame right here. Uh, cycle that back a little bit. Put your empty magazine in, of course. Uh, check it a couple times. Pull the trigger. Boom. Sounds good. Uh, that was a little forceful, but... That's it. I really appreciate you guys watching and it would mean a lot to me if you were to like the video and subscribe. I am still just getting started. It's my first year doing this and we have a brand new baby girl and I barely have time for anything. So I had to actually uh, make time to make this video. And it's kind of like my passion. I do. Uh, I had to do some inspecting, so I had my my trusty streamlight on my hat. But it it is kind of my passion, uh, firearms and stuff. And um, I hope to make a lot of videos in the future about um, you know all things to do with with firearms. And I have an extensive collection, and so. Um, I also have relatives that have, you know, uh, weapons that we could test out and we could do requests even, but there you go. Uh, Glock pistol, takedown and cleaning and lubrication. So thanks for watching guys and, uh, see you next time.